be advised. The opinions and views of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Hello and welcome to Kayaking Live. I'm your host, Ike Sinieres. Tonight, we're going to have three segments with the same topic. And our topic for tonight is promoting the Business Process Outsourcing Summit, or BPO Summit for short. Uh, the, the, the three segments will have two guests each. And uh, most of them, actually probably all of them, are either going to be speakers or participants in the forthcoming summit and for our first set we have with us uh, Miss Nelda Solueta she is a uh, chief executive officer of clear vision outsourcing and Mr. Ernest Hernandez she is president of art city animation don't be surprised Ernest will talk about animation as a BPO yeah. and that's going to what uh, destroy the myth that <laughs> BPO is all about call center there's more to call center than just, uh, there's more to BPO than just call center. Good evening, Nelda. Good evening, Kaiki. Okay, so <laughs> what is, what is this uh, clear vision outsourcing and uh, what, what is your role in the BPO industry? Well, clear vision outsourcing um, is actually a fun company because believe it or not, what my uh, employees do all day uh, is do Facebook, uh, go hmm. on social media marketing. Do you have an opening? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do uh, what we call as new media. So new that's media, right? digital media marketing. We uh -huh. do marketing, advertising for uh, offshore and local clients. Mm -hmm. Now, an interesting part of Clear Vision Outsourcing is that it has a human resources development arm. We call it Skill Shop, where we do uh, training for, well, particularly for BPO uh, employees. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, well, it has actually entered the language like Facebooking. Yeah. <laughs> and tweeting. Yeah, and that's so right. That's right. That's what your employees <laughs> do. They do Facebooking and tweeting yes, the whole day. Yes. Because promoting a client of yours. Promoting products and services of clients. Uh -huh. Creating awareness, uh, creating interest. Oh, so you create mm -hmm. uh, fan sites, group sites, what do you create? Facebook pages. Pages. Okay. Yes. And then we, um, we, we generate interest, so we do articles, we blog, we copyright, oh, okay. we do press releases over the net. So it's in the category of outsourcing because you are doing what your client would have done for yourself. Yes, yes, that's right. Okay. Actually, outsourcing is... For himself, I mean. For himself. Yes, yes. What he could for not him do or for, for his himself, company. Or for his company, he would ask you to do. That's right. Outsource, that's right. bring it out. All yes, right. yes. Having somebody else do it for you, that's mm -hmm. generally what outsourcing is. And that's what you do to Ernest? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for, for animation, is what, what, what they say about BPOs is that mm -hmm. uh, it's outsourcing. So basically... The misconception of uh, it's only call centers that do uh, BPOs <laughs> is uh, is actually a myth. Now, so actually, our company, RCT Production, is also a BPO company. Since we get mm -hmm. contracts from abroad, <coughs> um, sure, a yeah. 80, 80 percent of my clients are from abroad. So that's my bread and butter, actually. So. so, but instead of taking calls for someone, you draw something for someone. Yes. And you, you Facebook for someone. <laughs> right, right. Actually, the, the <laughs> call center industry dominated the BPO industry because it's the biggest. It's the mm -hmm. biggest part. Actually, for BPOs, we have voice and non-voice services mm -hmm. or what we call 
the call center, the contact center part, and then the higher value services. So mm -hmm. in there goes uh, IT outsourcing, um, software development, mm -hmm. all of those higher uh, uh, value Software development services. would be non-voice. Does yeah. it include the uh, medical transcription? Yes, yes. There's a whole industry uh, related to healthcare. Mm -hmm. So they call it healthcare information management. Hmm. So it's a huge industry mm -hmm. covering uh, almost half of the globe. They're, they bring all of their work here in the Philippines. That mm -hmm. probably includes filling up uh, prescriptions. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, there, there's mm -hmm. a BPO service such as that where nurses call patients. But generally it's in the billing, in the um, oh, okay. uh, in transcribing and a lot of doctors' insurance claims, I think. That's mm -hmm. right. That's and right. And I heard yeah. recently uh, paralegal work. That's right. That's right. Wow, this is really growing. Yeah. yeah. Do you see yeah. that as the future of the country? Oh, let me ask you a specific question. Could it possibly reverse or balance OFW migration? Well, um, they call it uh, internal migration. They, they come back quote to the Philippines. Quote unquote. Yes, yes. Um, <coughs> not yet to that extent, I believe. No, but um, in the future, probably. Well, right now, um, the BPO <coughs> industry accounts for, uh, is number two for um, income for, for the country. Of course, OFW remittances How about are the still number side, one. Nelda? Is mm -hmm. it just about there? Is it nearing that level? Oh, yes, yes. Oh. Yes. Um, really? The, the, for the BPO industry, it accounts for a huge portion of what uh, was generated for the Philippines. Mm -hmm. It's almost yeah. there. Actually, OFW's number one, and then BPO industry is a very close second already. You know, I've heard about the problems in the BPO industry, health problems psychological problems, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. when you compare <laughs> that with the problems mm -hmm. of the OFW sector, uh -huh, uh -huh. it's really lesser yeah. right, because right. The, the risks that are being faced by our people abroad are really greater. Yeah, well, first of all, you're mm -hmm. working here in the, in yes, your, in the country. Yes, they're safer. You're with your family, with yeah. your loved ones, you can enjoy after uh, after work session. So uh, in, in, our, in our case, in, in, in arts, um, like if you want to be to become a comic book artist for Marvel or DC Comics, uh, during the 90s you really have to fly to the U.S. and apply. Mm. Now you j you can just submit your portfolio online and get a contract online, and you can do it here at the luxury of your house. Mm -hmm. So so that's with that's your a family. With your family, mm -hmm. you, you, ha you don't have to leave the house. Uh -huh. uh, so unless you have a a, a nagging wife or whatever. So uh -huh. <laughs> that's beside the point. <laughs> Actually, she won't nag you once you have the income coming in. Exactly. And right. She's gonna be out shopping. Oh yeah, <laughs> just give her money to do some shopping. But let's not forget first the BPO summit. Let's not forget what is it all about. Oh, when and where? This will be on Saturday already. It, uh -huh. It's an event for. Uh, everyone who has ever been in or mm -hmm. want to be in the BPO industry. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's a one-day summit. It will be held uh, at the Tanghalang Pasigeno. Mm. So it's uh, being organized by PMCM uh, Events Management. Mm -hmm. So, well... Uh, what is that, <laughs> Tanghalang Pasigeno? Uh, it's in Pasig. In, it's in the heart of uh, Pasig, actually. Mm -hmm. It's a conference uh, venue. It's a conference hall in uh, Pasig. Well, okay. Uh, who can be part of it? Um, do you have an age requirement, 18 and above? Uh, you're referring to the BPO summit? The people or who the could the attend, the, or the people who could apply. Well, anybody can, um, can join, participate mm -hmm. in the BPO summit. But uh, if you're referring to... Um, events which open jobs for BPO participants. B the BPO industry is the only industry mm. in the Philippines that accepts senior citizens like, yeah. well, like